Making a to-do list is not an easy job. You have to decide which task is going to come first and which is going to come second. And if you don't do that while making your list and it's just a list of things that you have to do in a particular day, then at the time of picking up your task, you wouldn't know which task to do first. And even if you do have an idea of which task you are going to do, you might end up picking up a task you like instead of doing what's important. And then one day when I was exploring templates for my Notion, I came across a template which was called Eisenhower Matrix, which turned out to be a life-changing method of handling your to-do list. So without wasting any time, let's get straight into this. First, we're going to see how Eisenhower Metrics works out on Notion as a template. And if you guys are wondering if Notion is a paid app, no, it's not. Notion is a free workspace slash study space app which adjusts according to your needs. It has to-do list templates, Eisenhower Matrix template, your reading list template, and the cafes you want to visit templates. They all are free and they're provided by Notion. So there is no cost of using this app at all. I will put the link in the description box below if you guys are interested. Now let's continue with the video. So how does Eisenhower Matrix works and makes your life more easier? Well, the Eisenhower Matrix works on total four principles. Urgent, not so urgent, important and not so important. Once we scroll down on our notion a bit, we will come across a table and this table will have total four columns. Tasks, urgency, importance, and then the completed checklist. Let me just show you guys how it works. So for example, I have to add a task in the table, which is going to look like going to a cafe. And I have to decide how much urgent this task is, urgent or not urgent. Since I've decided it's not urgent, I will click that. And then I have to decide how important is that, important or not important. Since it's not so important, I will click on not important. Once the task is done, we will click on the checkbox indicating that we do not need to worry about this task anymore. Now, if we scroll down a little bit more, we will come across the matrix itself, which again is based on four pillars, urgent, not urgent, important and not important. The tasks that we had assigned in the earlier table are placed in this matrix according to their urgency and their importance level. And now, if you're more of an on a paper kind of person, Eisenhower Matrix can still work for you. Let me just show you how. Grab your favorite notebook and a pen. First, I'm gonna write what I'm going to talk about because I like to give title to my pages. And then I'm gonna draw three columns and try to draw my lines as straight as possible. And then one straight line for the headers or the titles of the columns that we just drew. And now on the horizontal side, I'm going to write urgent and not urgent. And on the vertical side, I'm going to write important and not important. Now, this is like a matrix where tasks will be divided into four categories. Urgent, not urgent, important, not important. For example, my first task is uploading a YouTube video. Now, is it urgent for me? Yes. So I will go in the urgent column. And is it important for me? Yes. Then I will go in the important row. And here I'm gonna write uploading a YouTube video. So it easily categorizes as an urgent and important task. And now I'm gonna write another task which is reading a book. And is it urgent? No, it's not really urgent. But is it important? then yes, I will write it in the important row. And now talking about an urgent but a non-important task. For example, closing a bank account. It's urgent, I have to do it as early as possible, but it's not important. So I'm gonna write it right here so that it's easy to understand that it's an urgent but not so important task. And now talking about another task, which is, for example, going to a dinner with my friend. So it's a non-urgent and a non-important task because it's just a casual dinner with a friend. So I will write it right here. So now when I look at this table on metrics, it's easy for me to understand which task do I have to pick first. For example, 
first thing I should be doing is an important and an urgent task, which is uploading a YouTube video. So this should be my first thing to do. And then depending on my understanding of urgency and importance, I would pick my remaining tasks. So guys, it was that easy to make Eisenhower metrics on a notebook. If you are not that kind of digital person and you want to do it all in a writing format. But what if you want it all on your phone? How do you do it? Let's get into that. So as we have already talked about, Notion is an app, which means that we can download it on our phones. And I have it already on my phone and I have a widget of it as well, which makes it easier for me to access this Eisenhower Matrix page. So just have to tap on the widget and this page will open up for me and I will be able to see which of the tasks I should be doing first, urgent and important, urgent or not important, whatever it is. And if I have to add a new task, that is possible as well. For example, I have to add a task which is going to be like read a book. And then it will ask me to decide if it's an important task or not so important task, urgent task or not so urgent task. So I will decide that and then I will have my task at the right place in the matrix. And this is how I can update this table or metrics right from my phone and see what I should be doing first. So guys, let me know in the comments below if you guys are going to use this Eisenhower matrix method to make your to-do lists next time. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!